Cheers, everyone, and welcome back to the show. It's it's been a minute since we were, you know, sitting on this couch just having a coffee together. And let me tell you, today's coffee is a little different. I didn't use my Chemex today. I used a V60, used James Hoffman's method, and it is honestly really tasty. But we are gonna talk about coffee today. Um, we're gonna, you, you saw the thumbnail correctly. I, there is one drink that I will buy from Starbucks, that I will go out of my way to purchase said drink. And I'm gonna tell you in a minute what that is. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the show, everyone. So good to have you here. Merry Christmas season, it's a year! I'm sorry, literally the only decorations I have really are this green light behind me because they haven't really decorated because we won't really be around for the holiday season. So like, yeah, didn't really do anything, but that's fine, you know, next year. Um, today, 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 we are gonna talk about my only drink I buy from Starbucks. But real quick, before that, I just wanted to let you know that for the next two weeks, I will be roasting and shipping coffee on the 21st of December. That will be the cutoff day for any roasting, the last uh, batch that I will ship out. Um, if you want coffee for the holiday season, make sure you put your order in by then. Um, merch will still be shipped out because I don't like do that at the apartment, so you could still order merch. But if you want coffee beans for the holiday season, maybe a gift, or you're just low and you need coffee for someone, Please put that order in now to make sure it gets shipped because from the 21st of December to about probably the 4th or the 5th of January, I won't be roasting any coffee. You can put an order in, feel free, but just know that it'll be a little bit of delay because I'm gonna take some time off to actually like enjoy the holidays one and also kind of set myself up for 2021, make it a good experience for all of you guys too. So, you know, all the housekeeping aside, let's talk about this coffee. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm drinking one right now, but I'm about to go get another coffee because this is not a coffee we can talk about here. Oh, no, no, no. We actually need to go get one and taste that delicious beverage that is the only coffee that I seek out and order from Starbucks. And it's the peppermint mocha. So, come on guys, we're, let's go get a peppermint mocha together. Let's go. walking to get that drink, that delicious peppermint mocha. I brought Zoe just because I didn't want to be lonely. But uh, guys, I was looking up some interesting facts on the peppermint mocha because I feel like we all think, you know, peppermint mocha Starbucks, first drink that Starbucks did for the holiday season, you know? Like, I feel like people think that. Well, that's just not the truth. That's just not true, apparently. The first drink they ever did for the holidays was their eggnog latte in 1986. 1986. 1986. Oh, I see the button. Which is like a little crazy because I honestly thought it'd be the peppermint. Peppermint mocha wasn't around until 2002. 2002. We're coming for you, so oh, you can't see anything. But yeah, that's uh, that's all. We're gonna we're gonna go get it now. We're gonna go get it. Can I just do a? Uh, oh, what size? Um, no, let's go big. Can I get a venti peppermint <laughs> mocha? Uh, what was it, coconut mocha? Uh, peppermint mocha. Oh, peppermint yeah. mocha. Well, that would have been, well, that would have been a big shot. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you want whipped cream with that? That would be great. Extra whip would be awesome. Oh, okay, extra whip. Got it. Yeah. And uh, would that be all? That would be all. Cool. Can I just have a name? Josh. Is that your first time getting peppermint mocha? First time getting peppermint mocha? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just one of the very few things I ordered from Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. First peppermint mocha of the holiday season. Oh! <laughs> Dude, they asked. He was like, oh, is this your first time getting a peppermint mocha? I think because I had the camera. <laughs> and like, no. It's just the only drink I buy. You already know this. You already know this. You already know. Mm. All right, guys, let's go back inside and finish this video. 
Oh yes. Mm. Guys, that is honestly pretty, pretty dang tasty, honestly. Pretty dang tasty. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is really the only drink I'll actually go to a Starbucks purposely and buy. As you all know, I travel. I like to fly. Need caffeine while I fly, obviously. And so when I'm in an airport, I'll like, you know, sometimes try to find a Starbucks or really any coffee shop to find coffee. But yeah, this is the only drink I will really go try to find from Starbucks. But that being said, in either next week's video or the following weeks, I'm gonna show you how to make a peppermint like syrup at home and make this peppermint mocha at home. And I promise you, it will be better than this drink right here. So stay tuned for next week. Yeah, let's just do it next week. We're gonna do it next week. Maybe the week after, we'll see. Probably next week though. I'm so indecisive, guys, I'm sorry. But yeah, we're gonna make a delicious homemade peppermint syrup from mint leaves. It's really not too difficult, honestly. Um, it takes a little bit of work, but it's really tasty. The end results are oh, delicious, and you can't go wrong. So, guys, that is what I have for you today. A reminder to buy some merch. Um, there are gonna be specials for the next two weeks before Christmas, so specials on beanies, specials on sweatshirts, specials on t-shirts. Um, today, Monday, if you're watching it, is the last day for the discount on these beanies. It's going to be 30% off. So if you haven't snagged a beanie or a hat, make sure you do that. Also, sweatshirts will be coming up in a couple days. Big, nice discounts on the sweatshirts. These are honestly really comfortable, guys. I'm super, super impressed with how these turned out. Very, very happy and excited for y'all to get them and to try them and wear them and, you know, just rep the caffeinated consultant wherever you are. Make sure you order some coffee before it goes away for the holiday season. Grab yourself a bag. Grab a bag for a friend. Maybe you're doing a white elephant. Maybe you're doing a secret Santa. It is a fantastic gift for anyone in your family. And guys, I will see you all in the next video. And stay tuned because there might not be a YouTube Rewind this year, but I will be doing my own YouTube Rewind. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, y'all, stay caffeinated, stay happy, stay healthy, have fun, have a coffee for me. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh no. I just spilled on my sweatshirt. Son of a... No girl, a boy without a toy So giddy up, Rudolph, my dear